Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see a FTP connector with new ESB. So basically, we can use the FTP connector as an inbound as well as outbound, and we will going to see various features available with FTP connector. So let me show. I have some FTP can location. This is my FTP location where I have three folder backup. input and output so in in folder we will going to place the file okay and after placing the uh, file in the in folder we can see the file in out folder it will be transferred to out folder in the backup whatever file we will put in in folder it will be backup to the backup folder so basically this is my ftp location i have a three folder under the ftp location so if i see these are my three folders on ftp location fine So let me start with creating a new application. I will say file new new project. Okay. The first thing I will say FTP new app. I will select runtime as a 3.8.3. Okay. In your environment, there can be a multiple runtime. You can select depending on your requirement. Rest of the setting I will not going to touch. I will say next, next, finish. Okay. The first thing I will drag and drop FTP in a message canvas into the canvas. Fine. So in FTP host is localhost only. Or oh, okay. What is the path? I will say path is in folder. What is the user? I will say I will give a password also. Okay. I will place one logger component. After that, I will place one file connector. Okay, so let me create one folder under test source resources. I will say out folder. Now we will say test. Sorry, I will say src test resources. I will say out. That the configuration I need to do. Now under connector configuration, I will say okay. So this is a polling frequency. See at what interval of a time you have to poll the FTP location to pick the file. So I will set instead of one second, I will say ten second, one thousand millisecond to ten thousand millisecond. It means ten seconds. Let me start the application. Yes. That's why our application is deployed. Okay, the application has been deployed. Now I have some file. I will show the content of the file. This is the content of a file. What I will do? I will copy it and I will go into paste it in folder. Okay, after 10 seconds, this file will be picked. This file has been picked. Okay, the default behavior of FTP location will it will pick the file and delete from the source location. Let me refresh, so you can see. Okay, you can see the file in the output folder. Now, what I will do? We are going to use instead of file, I will use FTP at outbound. Okay. Let me do the configure. I will say path. I will say out. So my folder is say here. I have a see no file here in. Okay, out. Okay. So I will say out. What is the username? Let me give a username. And I will give a password for FTP location. I will save it application. Once I will save it, it will deploy. Again, okay, application has been deployed. Now what I will do? I will again copy same file. Okay, I will place in in folder, not in folder in FTP location. Let me refresh. If I can see anything, let me go to out folder. See one file has been created just now at 8:42. Let me check what is the content. See this is the content of the file. Okay, so. See, you can see the file here also. Right? 
let me place one more file same file okay let me go to the ftp location i will refresh it you can see two file so again i will go there in the old folder see two file now other thing see before i move my file to the other ftp location or before i send my file to the processor i want to back up the file so what you have to do go to inbound ftp location then click edit connector configuration under advanced you will see like delete file after processing this is the default behavior but it will pick the file from ftp location and delete in some cases what happen like we have there is some important data there is some important data that we need to back up see so there can be chances you know like the file you know due to some reason due to like service is not available available the file may not process so in case if we want to reprocess we can pick the file from the backup and we can reprocess that's why we need to backup the file so for that what i will do i will say configure i will say backup i will give a file pattern i will say message dot inbound properties dot i will say original file name dot backup this is what i required at the backup file folder i will say okay let me save so what we have done let me show you again so i have gone under connector config i edit it and i provide move to directory and file pattern in which you want to save the file let me stop and deploy the application again okay the application has been deployed now we can see the two file in our two folder let me do one thing i will drop Two, three files, four files. I will drop in in folder. Okay, let me refresh it. Okay. So one minute. Uh, let me delete this. This is okay. So you can see all file has been backed up. And even you can see file has been created in the output folder also many file. and file is also backed up with dot backup transaction we can verify at ftp location we just refresh it we we'll go to output folder we go to in folder no file we go to backup folder right so this is how you can use your ftp location as inbound as well as outbound if you like my video just subscribe it thanks for watching video hope you have enjoyed